Hello, I'm Tom. I'm at Sweet Maria's Coffee in a beautiful West Oakland, California, and I really like to save a lot on light beer. Um, I wanted to talk today about this uh, experiment in processing that we've done. This is, uh, well, we didn't do it. Um, it was done by a fellow named Emilio at a farm and mill called El Manzano in El Salvador. Uh, it was brought to our attention by Chris Davidson at Atlas Coffee, who thought we might be interested in offering this kind of, you know, wacky experimental thing to our customers. And um, hopefully it will be part of Ro Roaster Skill curriculum next year. Um, what it is, is at El Manzano, they picked uh, one batch from one day, from the middle of the harvest, uh, a good harvest of Bourbon coffee, and they um, processed it three different ways. It's the exact same coffee. What fully washed, traditional fermented, fully washed process, pulp natural process, and full natural process. Um, I won't explain what those are exactly because hopefully you either know or if you get this set of coffee, which we're selling at Sweet Maria's, it's one pound each then you'll get a full description. On our forum, we're going to have a full discussion of it, and you'll probably maybe see this video. And uh, what I wanted to do is just look at these coffees with my macro setup, um, roasted, uh, ground, and green, and discuss what you're going to see when you look at them, because it's a little bit tricky. So over here is uh, what we're going to look at. Let's go macro now. And we're here in macro world. This is the washed El Manzano El Salvador coffee that's included in the set. Uh, fully washed, uh, fermented, dried coffee. Um, some things you'll notice about it, it actually has, a, it's not perfect looking green coffee, it has a little bit of age on it. Even though it, it's fresh, it probably gained a little moisture. Uh, somewhere in the transit or before it was shipped, which was in Grain Pro, so I imagine it was at the mill. Um, you can see a little damage here from um, on the edges, on the outer edges of the coffee here. And what happens is, let me uh, turn down my LED and let me turn on my UV and uh, it, it doesn't really luminesce very well. Let's turn on my LED. And um, so this is the fully washed process. This coffee has a lot of silver skin on it. And this is why I, I wanted to point this out. It's going to be a little confusing with looking at these coffees and telling the difference. Uh, silver skin cling to the coffee here. Um, uh, partial silver skin, which is something we actually kind of want to see. It means the coffee wasn't polished. Full silver skin really all over the bean can mean immature coffee or slightly immature, so that's not necessarily want to see, but something like this one here is fine. Um, and that's uh, one of the marks of a pulp natural, which is what you're seeing here, is that it tends to have a little more silver skin and it tends to have a yellower silver skin. Um, and the problem I'm having here is that this really, well, in the cup, I can absolutely guarantee you this is pulp natural coffee. There's no question in the flavor. Uh, I think it's fairly comparable to the natural, to the wa wash process, I'm sorry. So if you go back, here you go, fully washed. Here you go, pulp natural. See a slight yellowing in the silver skin clinging onto the bean here. It's actually slightly greener in color. Um, but really not appreciably different. I think the natural is where you're going to see a difference. Um, uh, there's a real mutant little bean there. Um, the natural is definitely uh, darker, definitely has a little more chaff, definitely a yellower. Um, some, some real differences in the coffee there. Now I want to show you some comparable coffee. So let's go again. Natural pulp natural, washed, and not extremely different. 
keep that in mind. Now look at this. Here's a fully washed Guatemala coffee, which is really an obviously fully washed. A lot less silver skin on it, bluer color, and you don't see that kind of whitening on the edges that might be a little bit of that aged or moisture damage. Um, so that's what I would expect. Again, El Manzano, washed, fully washed. A Guatemala, real classic looking, really nicely prepped, fully washed coffee. Let's look at this one here. El Manzano Pulp Natural. Now let's look at a Brazil Pulp Natural right here. And you see something that looks a lot more rustic with a lot more yellow in the silver skin. Um, you also notice I uh, did not remove the defect. I, embarrassingly, we pulled this out of the coffee and that's a really bad defect bean. Um, that's going to be uh, something, essentially coffee that died before it uh, developed fully, but was not removed at the mill. So sadly, a Sweet Maria's coffee with a bad defect in it. Um, you would see that in milling and you could remove it. Now let's look at the, um, I mean, I'm sorry, in roasting. This is the full natural Monsano. Now let's look at a full natural Ethiopia. And you should see, this is really much more obvious. A lot more yellow color, a lot more yellow to the silver skin. Um, much more of a typical uh, yellow in coffee. So, when you see these El Manzanos, don't freak out. It's not you. They do look awfully similar. In the cup, really distinct. Very distinct difference in the cup with the, between the three processes. Let's take a look at the roasted coffee. You are looking at the El Manzano uh, wet process roasted whole bean. What you should notice here is that at this stage, and I think we got in these in sample roasts, a very similar roast color degree, although we don't have an Agtron that works here. You'll see a lighter silver skin shade here. Uh, the silver skin being, you know, chaff that comes on, on the out of the bean, but it clings out, outside of the bean, but it clings here in the crease. Um, the silver skin color tells you something between processes. It just can be a little clue. Let's look at the three. Fully washed. Pulp natural, sort of a tinted silver skin. Same degree of roast, I think, pretty well. Now look at the natural. Dark, dark silver skin. What that does is it makes you think that this roast is darker. I don't believe it is. Let's look at the roasted coffee, ground, uh, fully wet processed, pulp natural, and natural. Now, if you think right now that this is darker, what you're n not taking into account is that the silver skin, the presence of the silver skin really throws off your color perception. You know, as do other things like reflectance. Um, and I would say that the reflectance, the surface of natural coffees roasted to the same degree are less reflective. There's a kind of matte quality to natural coffees roasted. So here's fully washed, pulp natural, and natural El Manzano. And here's the roasted natural. We have an auto white balance going on on that camera, so pulp natural and wet process. Um, cup flavors are, are greatly different and you'll be happy to know they're more dramatic than the appearance of the green coffee certainly and to some degree the roasted coffee. So I hope you enjoy the El Manzano experiment. We just wanted to make sure that you understood some of the things you're looking for in roast um, between the natural, the surface texture, the smoothness, to the dark silver skin, pulp natural, which, which does truly actually sort of bridge a middle gap with a slight staining of the silver skin, at least at this degree of roast. Roast dark enough, it all goes dark, the silver skin. And the... Uh, wet process with uh, a really lighter color silver skin in the um, crease of the bean at the same degree of roast and probably a little more texture on the surface too. Good luck!